Okay, so, hello everyone. This is definitely a different kind of video. Uh, it's gonna be a shorter one, I think. Uh, today, I'm gonna be showing you all of my Cocker Spaniels. Now, at the moment, my Cocker Spaniels are the ones that I have the uh, second most amount of. And a fun fact about my Cocker Spaniels is that all of them are authentic. They didn't used to be, but now they are, so let's just get into it. Okay, so first up we have this girly. I'm just adjusting my camera. Now, these are in no particular order. I'm just picking them up as I get them off the shelf. Uh, this girl, I don't remember her number but I will find it eventually. She's very, very cute. And honestly, I think she's a very underrated spaniel. You don't see her in many videos. She could work as both a teenager, a mother, all that kind of stuff. And some even use her as a dude. I personally don't see it, but you do you. <laughs> and also for this video, the numbers of the pets will be put on the screen. I don't know in what corner, but in one of them. I will put the numbers of the pets. So, yeah. And next up is this dude. Now, this pet, uh, many people use this one as a girl. I personally have always seen this one as a guy. I don't know. I think it's just whenever I see a pet with no eyelashes, depending on the rest of the design, I can either view them as a girl or chances are I'm going to view them as a guy. And this is the case. I view this one as a guy, and a fun fact about him is you will see him in my upcoming film, uh, which will be called My Dear Violet. It's a story I've had in the works for a while now, like genuinely, probably like two, three years I've had the story in the works for, and it's super exciting to finally be able to do it because before I didn't have the right set pieces I just couldn't and fun fact about him is I actually have a fake of him this is the fake um, yeah it's not the worst quality fake I've seen it's not that bad but uh, I always think I think he just looks like he's got a massive forehead don't question me uh, this is the one that was used in the video Colby and I only showed him from like one angle because I didn't want anyone to be able to tell that it was fake. You probably could still tell though, so yeah. Next up, this one. Uh, this is another one that most people could, you, you could use it as a girl, but personally I just think it works much better as a guy. I don't know what that mark is. It's not coming off. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna need to give him a wash. <laughs> uh, I know this guy's number two, 298. And a fun fact, I got him with his original hat, still attached. And the second that I tried to take that hat off because I wanted the elastic to survive, the elastic snapped. And his condition is so good. It's like he has literally just been taken out of the box. Um, and it's very difficult to find pets this old in this good of condition. So, yeah, I'd consider myself very lucky for even having this one. Um, yeah. So the next one is this girl. Now, you might not know this, but this was actually my first ever Cocker Spaniel. Like, even after the first one I had of her, because Something I've seen a lot with this one is that the head, the, the peg, snaps, and mine did that. The peg for my original one just snapped and I got it for Christmas. Uh, you can actually find on my old channel a load of videos with this girl, and also my mascot. They were always, con like, they were always a duo in my mind. And it's honestly really exciting that I finally got both of the real versions of them back. And also, I got her in a trade with a good friend of mine. 
because sh yeah, she's too cute. As the second that I saw this pet in my friend's uh, collection, I just immediately thought, oh my god, I need her. And you would not believe how many pets I traded to get her. I'm pretty sure I may have given like 34 LPS or something. It was crazy. Like they were mostly um, generation five pets and three, but it was well worth it because now I have this girl. And every single time I hold her, I just, she makes me so happy to see she is too cute. Like genuinely this design is so unique. And it's like, Hasbro, you did amazing. You did amazing on this design. Holy Jesus. This girl. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, her head is a little bit funny. I don't know what it is, but it's just kind of low down. And when I first got her, I was kind of worried that she was fake because of how low down her head is. Uh, she's not, she's real. Um, this is probably, <laughs> right, I know Hasbro overused this design to hell, but this one and 716 are two of my favorite Cocker Spaniels. 716 is literally one of my dream LPS. She is adorable, but I can't ever find her anywhere. And then when I do, I don't have the money. So it's like, she's just always escaping me, but I'm gonna get her someday. I want her so badly. Um, but yeah, this girl, her number is 960. And uh, this is actually kind of funny. I have one of the pets that came in the original package with her. at least I think came in the original package with her. This short hair. Except the condition is way different because I got them in two different lots, but it's kind of cool when you accidentally end up collecting pets from the same lot. Well, from the same package. That's just like, mm, I love it. So yeah. This girlie, I can't say I ever actually looked for her, but then I found a listing for her on eBay for like 11 pounds. And considering her condition and the price that she normally is, I'd say it was quite a good deal because she came with an accessory as well. It was only a little donut and a drink, but still, it was well worth it. Um, my short film, The uh, Man in the Window, it is gonna be, released eventually. I just need to get the script proper because that video wasn't scripted. Like the first half of it was but then the rest of it just wasn't and you might notice. <laughs> uh, something I've kind of noticed with Cocker Spaniels is that their bodies tend to be really shiny and I don't know why. I mean I'm not complaining but like why? Alrighty then. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah. Uh, subscribe, I guess. I'm not really gonna say that much. Uh, fun fact, Cocker Spaniels are my favourite main five mold, but the one I have the most of is Short Hair Cats. I really, really want more Cocker Spaniels. If anyone can find people who sell Cocker Spaniels for good price, link them to me, especially if they um, ship to the UK. Please, 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 I want more Cocker Spaniels. <laughs> I have five and I'm so upset, but I'm not upset because I have some and they're all real, but I want more! <laughs> My next video of Shine Away Pets will be uh, Short Hair Cats because I'm going to get that list out the way before I move on to the other ones because that one's a... Uh... yeah, um, there's there's quite a lot. I think I have like 10 short hair cats, which is unbelievable, and half of them I don't even use in videos because half of them are fake. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Goodbye!